Now to a developing story. Hackers say they've infiltrated the database at Integris Health Systems, and they're now threatening to sell patient information. News 9's Chris Yu has more on what happened and how the health system is helping those who've been impacted. Christmas is a time for giving, but this year, hackers decided to take instead. This is a real eye-opener for me. Viewers have been messaging us about an email they received over the weekend. It claims that hackers have stolen the data of more than 2 million Integris Health patients, patients like Paul Wilson. Has Integris contacted you at all regarding this letter? No. To prove that the breach was real, the hackers included the patient's addresses, phone numbers, birth dates, and social security numbers in the emails. I was really worried more for the cell phone because it's directly tied to my work. In the email, the hackers claim they will sell the patient's information to data brokers on January 5th, unless the patients pay up. The email says any buyer can purchase data exclusively for $50. This gives the buyer exclusive rights on the data and will remove the data from the shop completely. Integris Health sent us a statement saying, in part, upon becoming aware of the activity, Integris Health promptly took steps to secure the environment and commenced an investigation into the nature and scope of the activity. Integris says it will also offer free credit monitoring. When you give into the fear, they, they win. So, I mean, I'm not going to stop going to Integris. I'm not going to stop going to places. The Federal Trade Commission says if your social security number is exposed, consider placing a credit freeze and try to file your taxes early before a scammer can. Integris Health says despite the data breach, there was no interruption of services and the health system remains fully operational. Integris Health says it will post additional information on the data breach on its website. We will post a link on News9.com. In the OKC Newsroom, Chris Yu, Oklahoma's own News9.